Alright, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So today we're going to start with a new topic and the chapter number two, which is estimation. Uh, this is a topic about uh, good properties of estimation. Right. First, uh, for introduction, for introduction, estimator are randomly a random variable. So one of the key problem of uh, point estimation is to study their sampling distribution. Right. So, if we are estimating the variance of the population on the basis of a random sample, then uh, we are hardly expect the value of S square, and we get uh, we we uh, we we get will we will actually get equal to sigma square. But it would be reassuring at least to know whether we can expect it to be close. So whether we want to expect S square to, uh, to be close to uh, sigma square to, to be equal or close to S square, right? So this is what the point of estimating. Lah. So if we must decide whether to use sample mean or sample median to estimate the mean of the population, we will, it will be important to know among which uh, X bar or median it's more likely to yield a value that actually close to the sample, uh, estimation. So we need to decide if we have uh, two more than one uh, estimator right, for for the for the respective uh, parameter, right? So we want we need, we need to dis, uh, decide which estimator we want to use. For example, let's say uh, you have we already learned uh, two method to get uh, estimator, right? First is method of moment, and second is method of uh, maximum likelihood estimator. So sometimes these two uh, estimator give two different uh, value, uh, two different equation. So we need to decide which uh, method that we want to use, either method of moment estimator or maximum likelihood estimator. Right? So that's why we need to uh determine which one to which one is the best estimator we want to use so there are four type four properties of estimator that we're going to use to evaluate which estimator is good for our uh, parameter right we have first is unbiasedness sufficiency efficiency and consistency we need to check for all uh, for the uh, for all properties to decide which estimator that we want to use, right? So let's look at unbiased estimator. The definition of unbiased estimator is uh, a statistic a theta hat is unbiased estimator of the parameter theta if and, and only if expected of theta hat is equal to theta, right? So this is the properties of unbiased estimator. If the expected of theta hat equal to theta, then we can say that the uh, theta hat is unbiased estimator. If expected of theta hat is not equal to theta, then theta hat is uh, is called as bias. Right? If you can see the diagram here, when expected of a hat equal to a then we call it this a a hat is unbiased estimator if expected of a hat is not equal to a then this is a bias estimator so it should be equal to a right so now look at definition number two so under definition number two suppose that y1 until yn is a random sample from a continuous pdf fy theta where theta is unknown parameter so an estimated theta hat should be equal to uh, it should be said uh, unbiased if expected of theta hat equal to theta for all theta right so this is very clear definition right so now look at example number one in example number one change the color so if x has a binomial distribution with the parameter n and theta, right? So binomial distribution with parameter n and theta. So the expected of uh, x, right? 
should be equal to n theta, right? So this is a um, the 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 mean for binomial distribution. Show that the sample proportion x divided by n is unbiased estimate for theta. So since we know expected of x is equal to n theta, uh, expected of x over n should be equal to 1 over n and multiply with theta. So this one should be equal to theta. So we can say that internet connection is not right. It should be equal to theta, right? So for example number one, we have binomial distribution with n and theta, parameter n and theta, right? So, so we want to know whether the proportion x divided by n is unbiased estimator for theta. So we need to take the expected value of x over n should be equal to 1 over n multiply with the expected of x is n theta. So this one is equal to theta. So then x over n is unbiased estimator for theta. So for example number one, are you clear? Right. If you want to, to find unbiased estimator, so we need to find expected of theta, theta hat, it should be equal to theta. Right. So for example number one, are you clear? Please comment. If you're not cleared, uh, I can repeat for you. Then, okay, clear. Right. Now, look at example number two. So, show that unless theta equal to half, right? When theta is equal to half, the minimax estimator for binomial parameter is x plus 1 over 2 square root of n divided by n plus square root of n. It's a bias estimator, right? So first, we know that expected value of x for binomial distribution is n theta. So we need to find the expected value of x plus 1 over 2 square root of n divided by n plus square root of n. So this one should be equal to n theta plus 1 over 2 square root of n divided by n plus square root of n. So this is not equal to theta. So since this is not equal to theta, then we can say that uh, this parameter, this estimator is bias estimator for theta, right? So whatever you take the expected value of the parameter, it should be equal to the mean, uh, the theta, right? So now look at example number three. So for example number three, if x1 until xn constitute a random sample from a population given by the PDF fx equal to expect, uh, uh, exponential negative x minus delta, right? So x is more than delta, right? So we need to show that x bar is a bias estimator for delta. So now, first step is we need to find the expected value of x. So the expected value of x is equal to, since this is a continuous random variable, we need to integrate from delta to infinity, x multiplied with exponential negative x minus delta, right, with respect to x. So this one should be equal to 1 plus delta, right. So so since we want to find the expected value of x bar, expected value of x bar should be equal to mu based on the first theorem of the sampling distribution, right. So if you still remember in chapter number one, Theorem number one, uh, the mean for x bar should be equal to mu, right? So since 
expected of x bar is equal to 1 plus d data delta is not equal to delta. So then we can say that um, x bar is bias estimator for delta, right? Right. Are you clear with example number three? So we already show that if the expected value is not equal to delta, then it's a bias estimator, right? Okay. So can we move on to the example number four? Right. In example number four, let x1 until xn be a random sample from exponential distribution with the parameter theta, right? So expected of x for exponential distribution should be equal to theta. Right? This is what we know from the uh, prior knowledge. So we want to know whether x bar equal to 1 over 2. Sorry, this is 1 over n. 1 over n equal to uh, some multiply with summation of xi is unbiased estimator for theta. So expected of x bar is equal to expected of 1 over n summation of xi. So this one should be equal to 1 over n expected of x1 plus expected of x2 is a big record until expected of x n so this one should be equal to with theta over n so this one should be equal to theta so we can say that x bar for binomial distribution is unbiased estimator for theta because the expected of x bar is equal to theta. So far, do you have any question? You can comment on the chat room if you have question. If you don't have question, then we can proceed to example number five. Do you have any question? Please comment. Hello? Right, no question. Okay, now, uh, we move to example number five. So example number five, we have let x1 until xn be a random sample from exponential distribution with parameter theta again. So let uh, theta one hat is equal to x1 plus x2 divided by two. x2 hat is equal to x1 plus two x2 divided by three b2 estimator for theta so we want to know whether uh, theta one hat and theta two hat is unbiased so again the same process we know that the expected of uh, theta expected of uh, sorry expected of x expected of x is equal to theta for the exponential distribution right so for the first uh, estimator first estimator we want to find the expected of theta one hat is equal to the expected of x1 plus x2 divided by 2 so this one should be equal to theta plus theta divided by 2 so which is equal to 2 theta divided by 2 equal to theta so we can conclude that the first estimator theta 1 hat is unbiased estimator for number 2 expected of theta 2 hat equal to x1 plus 2x2 divided by 3 
So this one, sorry, uh, this is going to be expected. This is the expected of x1 plus 2x2 divided by 3. So this one should be equal to theta plus 2 theta divided by 3. So this one is 3 theta over 3 equal to theta. So from here, we can conclude that theta 1 hat and theta 2 hat is unbiased estimator. Okay, can we proceed? Right, so now look at example number six. In example number six, I'm giving you a lot of example. So I, I want to make sure you understand uh, the, the concept of unbiasedness, right? So let x1 until xn be a random sample from a normal distribution normal distribution where both mu and sigma are unknown right so for a normal distribution expected of x should be equal to mu right so we know that from the prior knowledge the expected of x for normal distribution should be equal to mu so now we want to determine whether mu1 hat and mu2 hat are unbiased so expected of mu1 hat is equal to expected of 1 over 4 x1 plus 1 over 2 x2 plus 1 over 4 x3. So this one should be 1 over 4 mu plus 1 over 2 mu plus 1 over 4 mu. So this one should be equal to how much? So this one should be equal to 1, right? 1 over 4 plus 1 over 4 plus 1 over 2 is equal to mu. So we can say that mu1 is, mu1 hat is unbiased estimator. Right, for the expected of mu2 hat is equal to expected of uh, 1 over 3 summation of xi. So this one should be, sorry, uh, this is until x3, right? There are no, it's not until xn, x1, x2 until x3. So this one should be 1 over 3 multiplied with 3 mu. So this one should be equal to mu. So we can say that mu1 hat and mu2 hat is unbiased estimator right so any questions so far i think you can get the idea right so if we get expected of uh, theta hat is equal to theta then we can say that the parameter is unbiased estimator right now look at example number seven this is very simple example. So we have uh, let x1 until xn uh, be a random sample from a Poisson distribution with a parameter alpha uh, lambda. So we know that expected of x for Poisson is equal to lambda. So we want to show that x bar is unbiased estimator for lambda. So expected of x bar, it should be equal to expected of summation of x divided by n and this one should be equal to 1 over n and this is a big bracket expected of x1 plus expected of x2 plus until expected of xn so this one should be equal to n lambda over n so this is equal to lambda so we can say that x bar is unbiased estimator for lambda All right so now we look at last example for this category of aspect uh, estimation estimator so uh last second last example actually 
right? Suppose that y1 until yn are independent random variable with a population density function given by, this is the fy, y power of 3, 6 phi uh, power of 4, exponential negative y over phi, right? Uh, for y is more than 0. So if estimator theta hat equal to y bar over 4 is unbiased estimator. So first step, we need to find the expected of y, right? The expected of y, let's see uh, this one. The expected of y should be equal to integration of from 0 to infinity y multiplied with y power of 3 divided by 6 phi over 4 exponential negative y over phi with respect to y. But this is going to be very messy uh, calculation, right? Uh, so if you can match this one to our common uh, distribution, right? This is going to meet with uh, 1 over beta power of alpha gamma alpha x power of alpha minus 1 exponential negative uh, x divided by beta. Right, this is, if you can match this one with the gamma distribution, we can see that um, beta is equal to phi, right? And alpha is equal to 4. So this, uh, uh, gam this is came from gamma distribution. We know that beta is equal to phi. And alpha is equal to 4. And the expected value of y here should be equal to uh, 4 alpha beta for phi, right? So since we already know the expected value of y, we need to find the expected value of theta hat. So it's not theta, it's phi hat. So this one should be equal to expected of y bar divided by 4. And of course, y bar is equal to expect, uh, summation of y divided by n. So this is, is one of expected of summation of y over n. And this one should be equal to 1 over 4 n multiply with expected of y1 plus expected of y2 plus until expected of y n right so this one should be equal to 1 over 4 n this is n multiply with uh, 4 phi so this is equal to phi right so we can say that phi hat equal to y bar over 4 is estimator for phi, right? This is how we do it to find unbiased estimator for phi, right? Any questions so far? Right, so now we move to example number nine. No. Example number nine is a long question, actually. But we can solve it easily. Now, one observation is taken on a discrete random variable, y. The probability mass function of y is with lambda is equal to 1, 2, and 3. 
is given by when lambda is equal to 1, this is the probability value. When lambda is equal to 2, this is a probability value. When lambda is equal to 3, this is a probability value. So we want to find the maximum likelihood estimator for lambda. Right. So based on this example, we know that uh, maximum likelihood estimator means we want to find the value that have a largest uh, largest observation largest uh, value right? the observation that has largest value so the largest value should be equal to so one over three is not large enough one over six is not large one over four is also not large the larger value the ma the maximum value is one over two so we can say that the estimator for uh this probability density fun uh, mass, mass function, right? The estimator of lambda is equal to 1 over 2, which is lambda is equal to 3, right? 1 over 2, right? When lambda is equal to 3. So this is the value, right? This is a point estimate. The, the value of lambda is equal to 3. So now when lambda is equal to 3, right, we will get the maximum value, right? So this is the, uh, the, the estimator. The estimator of lambda is equal to 3. So when this is when, kita, kalau kita letak dalam bentuk equation yang betul, f y equal to 3 and lambda is also equal to 3, right? So this is the largest value possible of this probability mass function. So, so we know that expected of y should be equal to 3. Right? Okay? Expected of y is equal to Three. So, when we want to find the expected of um, lambda equal to three, right? So let's say we want to find expected of y should be equal to the summation, the expected of, sorry, um, summation of i equal to 0 until 4 this is for y i and multiply with f lambda equal to 3 so this is the probability value we want to find the expected of y so this one should be equal to 0 multiply with 0 when y equal to 0 lambda is equal to 3 equal to 0 and plus when lambda uh, y equal to 1 lambda equal uh, lambda equal to 3 the uh, f value the probability value is equal to 0 right right this is y this is fx right so this is this value right plus when lambda uh, when y equal to 2 fx is equal to 1 over 4 plus when lambda is uh, y equal to 3, uh, fx equal to 1 over 2. When y equal to 4, fx equal to 1 over 4. So this one should be equal to 3. Right? So since we know that uh, the maximum likelihood estimator, the estimator is equal to 3, so then f expected of y also equal to 3, then we can say that lambda hat equal to 3 is unbiased estimator for lambda, right? So far, do you have any question? Any question so far? Right, good. So we already cover for um, 
unbiased estimator. Right. So we're going to move to the next estimator, which is efficiency estimator. So in efficiency estimator, right, usually uh, it is usually possible to obtain more than one unbiased estimator. Right. For example, if you find an estimator for exponential distribution, right, using a maximum likelihood estimator, you will get one part of one part of, uh, some value right if you use a method of moment you will get another value right maybe these two value is not equal right we want to know which value that we want to we want to use first we need to make sure both uh, estimator are unbiased uh, this is a key before we evaluate uh, the, the 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 good estimator so we need to make sure both estimator should be unbiased estimator and then we should know, we should choose the estimator with the lowest variance right so to get a proper estimation so if we have a larger variance then it will not uh, estimate well right so kalau kita tengok dekat sini dekat uh, slide nya itu you first this one Right. So if you can see this one, so we need to find uh, unbiased estimator, which is uh, it will lies within the 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 mean. Right. Yeah, you see lies within the mean. So the punya estimator should be around the mean. And then the which estimate uh, next uh, criteria that we want to find is uh, less variance the, the value of variance should be low should be less compared to another one so if you have a lower variance then the point of estimate should be close the mean value if you have a larger variance and then your point estimate should be around the mean right which is not precise lah. so we need to find a precise estimator so this is the idea of selecting estimator, right? Can we continue? Boleh sambung? All right, now we move to the next um, properties of estimator, which is efficiency estimator, right? So in efficiency estimator, so we want to select which estimator have a lower variance, right? So let theta one and theta two are unbiased estimator, right? So the key point before you select uh, efficiency estimator, it should be unbiased estimator with the same parameter theta. And then we would prefer to use the estimator with a smaller variance, right? So, so the, this is the key idea of the efficiency estimator. So now look at example, a definition, right? So let theta one and theta two, theta one and theta two are unbiased estimator. So for the parameter theta, if the variance of theta one, uh, theta one hat is low, is smaller than variance of theta two hat. So we can say that theta one hat is more efficient compared to theta two hat. So we can also calculate the relative efficiency of theta one with respect to theta two. So the variance of theta two hat divide by the variance of theta one hat we call it efficiency of theta one and theta two if the efficiency of theta one and versus theta two is more than one so we can say that theta one is better unbiased estimator compared to theta two so if the efficiency of theta one hat and theta two hat is less than one Right, we can say that theta two hat is better unbiased estimator compared to 
theta 1. So this is a common, this is, this is another fo formula to, to, to uh, what we can say, uh, to mewakili, to represent uh, the value of variance, the lower variance, right? So variance uh, theta 1 hat should be smaller than theta 2 hat. Now look at example number 1. So now example number one, this is going to be a long example, right? So let y, y1, y2, and y3 be a random sample from a normal distribution, right? Where, where both mu and sigma squared are unknown. And we want to know which estimator is efficient this estimator is more efficient for predicting for estimating mu right so let i give another uh, another example ni tak cukup mu1 hat so this is the estimator mu1 hat equal to 1 over 1 over 4 y1 plus 1 over 2 y2 plus 1 over 4 y3 and mu2 hat is equal to 1 over 3 y1 plus 1 over 3 y2 plus 1 over 3 y3 so first step is we need to check whether these two estimator unbiased or not unbiased so we need to check whether mu1 hat and mu2 hat are unbiased right so the expected of mu1 hat is equal to the expected of 1 over 4 y1 plus 1 over 2 y2 plus 1 over 4 y 3 so this is 1 over 4 this is from uh, normal distribution expected of y should be equal to mu is 1 over 2 mu plus 1 over 4 mu so this is equal to mu so we can say that the first estimator mu 1 is unbiased estimator now for that second estimator mu 2 hat is equal to 1 over 3 y1 plus 1 over 3 y2 plus 1 over 3 y3 so the expected of sorry this is should be expected the expected right equal so this one is 1 over 3 mu plus 1 over 3 mu plus 1 over 3 mu so this one also equal to mu right so we can say that mu1 hat and mu2 hat are unbiased estimator for mu so this is the first check so next we need to check for the variance so we need to select which uh, the uh, the estimator with the smaller variance. So second step is check the variance of mu one hat and mu two hat. So the variance of mu one hat is equal to variance of 1 over 4 y1 plus 1 over 2 y2 plus 1 over 4 y3 so we know that as uh, the variance of y is equal to sigma squared and we know the expected of y is equal to mu right so this one should be equal to uh, 1 over 16 sigma squared plus 1 over 4 sigma squared 
and plus 1 over 16 sigma square. So the variance of uh, mu 1 hat is 3 sigma squared over 8, which is equal to 0 0.375 sigma squared, right? And then uh, uh, check for the variance of sig uh, mu, mu 2 hat, the variance of mu 2 hat is equal to uh, this is 1 over 3y1 plus 1 over 3y2 plus 1 over 3y3. So this is 1 over 9 sigma squared plus 1 over 9 sigma squared, 1 over 9 sigma squared. And this is equal to 3 over 9 sigma squared, which is also, if we convert to the decimal point, this is 0 0.3333 sigma squared. Obviously, we know that sigma as one hat is, a, sorry, mu two hat is a smaller variance, right? So number three, since variance of mu two hat is smaller than variance mu one hat. So we can say that mu two hat is efficient estimator. Right? So if you want to calculate the efficiency score, let's say number, uh, number four, efficiency of mu n, mu two hat, is variance of mu two hat divided by variance of mu one hat. So this one should be three over nine sigma squared over three over eight sigma squared. So this is going to be zero point eight eight eight. So since since efficiency of mu one hat mu two hat is less than zero, sorry, less than one, less than one. So we can say that mu two hat is efficient estimator, right? Kenapa mu one hat pakai one over four? 1 over 4. You are talking like uh, from step number 1, right? So this is the estimator. Yeah, I thought this study. Right, this is the estimator that we're going to test. So the estimator of mu 1 hat is 1 over 4 y1 plus 1 over 2 y2 plus 1 over 4 y3. And mu 2 hat is 1 over 3 y1 plus 1 over 3 y2 plus 1 over 3 y3. Three, right? Betul lah. Adakah saya menjawab you punya soalan? Ya, ada, ada soalan lain. You, you understand? Right? Right. Uh, now we move to the next example. So example number two, right? So based on example number one today, you got the, the idea, right? Uh, first, if you want to check whether the estimator is efficient or not efficient, first step, we need to check for the unbiasedness. Both estimators should be unbiased. If you have bias estimator, kita can eliminate that estimator. So in 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 normal uh, estimator, right? We 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 would like to expect uh, unbiased estimator, right? So unless you have uh, some, you want to add some regularization techniques, kalau you 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 can include bias uh, techniques lah. But in our case, we are looking into unbiased estimator. And then we will 
check for the variance for both estimator, we will choose uh, the estimator with the lowest variance, right? So the lower the estimator with the lower variance is an efficient estimator. Now we look at example number two, right? In example number two, we have let x one until x four be a sam random sample from population with the mean equal to mu and the variance equal to sigma squared. Given S and T are unbiased estimator. So this is a very good question, right? We yeah, already checked for you. This is uh, S and T are unbiased estimator. We no need to check for unbiasedness. So S is equal to X bar and T is equal to X1 minus 3 over 4 X3 plus 1 over 3 X4. So this is going to be the second one. The second estimator is uh, very long. So identify which estimator is an efficient estimator of mu and y. So now. So we, we know from the statement, uh, the expected of X is equal to mu, right? The expected of X is equal to mu and the variance of X is equal to sigma squared. So this is going to be actually a normal distribution, right? So first step, we need to identify which one is uh, the efficient estimator first step we need to find the variance of s which is also equal to variance of x bar is equal to the variance of summation of x over n so this is going to be one over n square variance this is a big bracket x1 plus variance x2 plus until variance xn so this is n sigma squared over n squared so this is equal to sigma squared over n right so we know that from the statement we have four observation right so n is equal to four so we can substitute the value of n it should be sigma squared over 4. So this is 0 0.25 sigma squared. Right. The second step is we need to find the variance of T. So the variance of T is the variance of 2x1 minus 3 over 4 x3 plus 1 over 3 x4. Right. So this one should be equal to four sigma. So I I by well, by by eh? So four multiply with variance of x one. This is plus right. This is nine over sixteen variance of uh nine over sixteen variance of x three and is going to be plus so three twelve three over twelve should be one over four so this is going to be one over sixteen variance of x4 right so you kali can this one masuk dalam ni so it should be equal to 3 over 12 so this is going to be 1 over 4 so so this one should be 4 sigma squared plus 9 over 16 sigma squared plus 1 over 16 sigma squared. So this one should be equal to 37 over 8 sigma squared. Right? 
So then uh, step number four, we need to find the efficiency of uh, uh, T and S, right? So it should be equal to the variance of um, uh, S is sigma squared over four divided by a variance of T is 37 square 8. So this one should be equal to 2 over 37. So this is 0 0.05405. So since efficiency of T and S is less than 1, so we can say that S is um, efficient estimator. Yeah, step number three, uh, you can skip step number three, right? Also, uh, now by step number three also can, right? Uh, variance of S is equal to 0 0.25 sigma and variance of T is equal to 3 over 37 over 8 is equal to how much? I think uh, 4 point. Six two five sigma, right? So you can say S is a lower, have a smaller variance compared to T, right? It's the same result. But uh, the best way to to find estimate uh, the efficient estimator is by using efficiency, right? You can so you can you can show the result or uh, show some value to for the comparison, right? This also valid, right? This is also valid. So in final exam, in test number one, test number two, quiz, so I think you should follow, the, you should do the efficiency score, relative efficiency, right? Any questions so far? So if you don't have question, then we can move to the next uh, example. So this is example number three, right? <clears throat> so before I, I proceed with this example number three, can you copy example number three and try by yourself and tell me which one is the efficient estimator? Whether theta one hat or theta two hat. Can you do that? Can you do that? This comment. So I want you to copy this example and try to do by yourself whether and find wh which one is uh, more efficient. Right. First step. Remember, uh, in this question, in this example, we need to find which one. Uh, so you don't need to find uh, which one is unbiased because uh, this already state here theta one head and theta two head said to be unbiased. So you need to straight away find the variance of theta one head and variance of theta two head and compare these two variants and find the efficiency score, which is relative efficiency, right? So I give you five minutes to do that. This is example number three, right? So to solve this problem, right, we have x1 until x3, right? We have three x and the exponential distribution with the parameter theta, right? With the parameter theta. So Theta 1 is equal to 3y1 plus y2 divided by 4. And theta 2 is 2y1 plus 3y3 divided by 5, right? So this is already unbiased estimator. So which one is more efficient? So we know that uh, for exponential distribution, right, the expected of x is, sorry, this is y, expected of y, 
expected of y should be equal to theta and the variance of y is equal to theta squared right so the variance of theta one hat is equal to the variance of three y1 plus y2 divided by four right so this one should be one over four Multiply with the um, the variance of y one, sorry, uh, the variance of three y one three y one plus uh, variance of y. Alamo, pen Variance of 3y1 plus y2, right? So this is 1 over 4. So kalau kita keluarkan this one, it should not equal to 1 over 4. It should be equal to 1 over 16, right? So this one should be equal to 9 uh, theta 2, theta power of 2 plus theta power of 2 divided by 16. So this one should be equal to 10 theta power of 2 over 16, which is also equal to 5 over 8 theta squared. This is 0 0.625 theta squared. This is number one. Number two, we need to find the variance of theta 2 hat, which is, is also equal to variance 2y1 plus 3y3 divided by 5. So this is 1 over 25. Variance of 2y1 plus 3y3. So this is uh, 4 theta squared plus 9 theta squared over 25. So this is equal to... Uh, 13 theta squared over 25, which is also equal to 0 0.52 theta squared. So, since number three, since we know that uh, variance of one is larger than variance of theta two hat, right? So we can say that theta 2 hat is efficient estimator for theta. Right? And of course, we, can, uh, we need to find the eff relative efficiency or relative uh, efficiency score. Efficiency of theta 1 hat and theta 2 hat is equal to um, theta 2 hat is 0 0.52 theta squared over this is 0 0.625 theta over uh, squared. So this one should be proper. 0 0.52 divided by 625 is 0. Point uh, 0 0.832. So since efficiency of theta 1 hat and theta 2 hat is less than 1, so theta 2 hat is an efficient estimator for theta. Right. So this is the same result, right? So sometimes in final exam, in test, we, I want you to calculate the efficiency score. So you need to calculate the efficiency score. I think efficiency score is more convenient that since we can show some value, right, to indicate which one is more efficient or not. Uh, more efficient. Right. Any questions so far? I think we have another half an hour.
Do you have any question? Clear. Good. So, for the next topic, it's going to be a... It's quite a long topic. We cannot cover it uh, in this half an hour. We should continue on tomorrow lecture. So, um, for the maximum variance estimator, the Kramer Rao lower bound uh, is still under efficiency estimator. We want to know which estimator is efficiency. So, some overview of the max MVE and maximum variance estimator maximum variance unbiased estimator so since we already know that we have two methods of finding estimator in our class right first method is maximum likelihood estimator the second one is a um, uh, method of moment right we want to know which one is more efficient between these two methods right so we we will uh, find whether these two method is unbiased estimator and then we need to compare the the variance right of these two estimator right so now we already know these two method basically there are a lot of method to find the estimator right so we want to know which estimator well, let's say we have theta one and theta two using maximum likelihood estimator and ma uh, method of moment if I use a Bayesian estimator, I got a theta 3 hat, right? So I want to know which one is uh, efficient. Of course, the first step is to find lowest variance, right? So, so how to make sure the, uh, let's say from theta 1 and theta 2 and theta 3 hat, I got theta 2 is the uh, efficient estimator, which is having a lowest variance among these three estimator. So how I want to make sure this theta 2 hat me is the lowest estimator among others estimator. Now, if there are estimator uh, ter, apa, theta 4 hat, so I want to make sure this theta 2 hat me adalah the lowest and the having a minimum variance estimator. So this is the method that we want to find. Uh, we want to learn, right, which is a uh, minimum variance unbiased estimator using a Kramer Rao lower bound, right? So we will learn this method tomorrow, right? So I think uh, that's all. I will end the recording. So thank you.